Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm really, really sorry that I have not been um, as consistent with my upload schedule in this past week. Things have just been really rough and really crazy for me, but we are back and today I'm going to be working on my beaches because I want to finally finish up this island and I feel like I left my beaches for kind of like the very last thing. Not the very last thing, I still have a lot of areas that I need to sort of decorate and just like make them look nice, but overall my beaches are something that I haven't been working on, so I'm just gonna kind of do a more chill live build of my beaches. Um, so far, I'm not really sure. I don't have a ton of ideas, but one thing I do want to incorporate on my beaches is a little sushi restaurant just because sushi is one of my favorite foods ever. Um, and I just decided this island had to have a sushi restaurant. I think I want to make my little sushi restaurant um, in this area because the thing about the beaches is you don't have to do any terraforming, which is nice, but there's not a lot of room to work with. Um, so it's gonna have its pros and cons and then I'm gonna tear this down and make like a little fishing Dock here right next to my sushi restaurant to make it look like it's getting like fresh fish and whatnot I think I'd be cute, but my pockets are really full right now So I will get all this stuff out of the way in a bit I'm just gonna start working on the restaurant in this little area right here and yeah, and I also have a ton of codes that I got that are super cute that I will have the creators um, Creators links as well as their codes in the description and I will also try to insert them in the video here But as you can see I'm going to be using the iconic umbrella illusions some of these in here And also I did also download some hats and stuff if I wasn't able to find the creator's socials I will just have the code there But if any of you guys know their socials that I didn't include feel free to drop it in the comments and I will pin your comment. I also have this cute stall code here that I got that I just kind of found on the kiosk while I was searching. So yeah, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and just put down a DIY bench so I can get to customizing. And if I do need to craft something, I'm gonna be using it just right here. So this is also gonna be a live build. So I'm really sorry if this isn't super organized. Um, I think the first thing I wanna do is customize my stalls um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that just right off the bat all right I don't know what color I want to make the wood yet but a cute little stall code that I found when I was just searching the portal was the sushi one I think it's so cute and it's also pink so it looks really nice I don't know what kind of um, wood I should use with it I thought about maybe the dark brown looks nice because there's gonna be a lot of dark brown in this build um, the light brown looks good too. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna do dark brown because it's gonna be kind of like more rustic and more like, you know, fishing, rustic vibes. I don't know how to explain it. I'm really tired right now. I had coffee. Yes, I did. But it takes a girl a little longer to wake up. So, you know, and also I'm sorry if my voice sounds scratchy, croaky. I don't know what it is. Lately, sometimes I just wake up and... I just sound like crap and I can't do anything about it so hopefully my voice doesn't annoy you guys too much in this video or at least as much as it's annoying me right now <laughs> all right so I grabbed three stalls to customize um, I grabbed a ton of items too, just items that I had in my storage so I'm gonna be trying to make the best of what I have right now so anyways I'm gonna have to go back to my house a few times to grab more stuff but I think I'm just gonna start um, placing stuff down so I'm gonna place the um, stalls down first just to get an idea of how much space I'm gonna have and where to lay everything out so I think this looks really cute um, maybe like have I don't know it's just so awkward trying to build on the beach because like you can't really angle stuff the way you want it to be um, but I kind of want to put the stalls as far back as possible over here without like taking up too much room I might not use three I'll probably just use two of these 
Um, so we'll place another one down and just move it up and that's cute. I like that already. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do is on the actual stands, I'm just gonna use like the hat designs, the hat codes that I'm gonna have in the description as well as probably inserted in the video. And I'm just gonna display them on the stalls and of course I'm gonna rotate them because this just looks awful. Hold on, I need to, maybe I need to get up behind here to do this because I want them backwards. Okay, that looks good. Yeah, okay, so I just need to stand behind when I'm placing them. But we're gonna place some summer rolls and then we're gonna place some, we're gonna place some ramen. That is so cute. Oh my gosh, this is making me hungry already. I just had Korean style sushi last night and I'm already hungry for sushi again. Um, I'm just obsessed, obsessed. We'll put down a sashimi platter and then right next to it, I'm gonna go ahead and place, um, let's see, what else do I have? The broken rice bowl. This makes me so hungry. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. Okay, so I'm sorry if this doesn't look um, I don't know if this is gonna look right, but <laughs> I'm trying my best with the room I have here. Oh, cool. We can push it back a little bit more. I think I'm gonna... That, that's good. I like that. Okay. I also wanted to have, like, a system kitchen right next to it. I don't know if there's gonna be a lot of room for it, but I'm gonna go back to my house and get one and just cut to that part. I th really think this will look good because I have some frying pans I want to put there. Um, just to make not necessarily like a kitchen because there's not a lot of oh wait I kind of like it like that Okay, so this is how I was planning on having it But I don't know. I kind of liked the idea of like having it sideways um, I was just gonna put like a frying pan on there like let's see Like this and have it like that, but it might look better like, rotated the way I had it. I'm not sure. Like, I think I was here. Yeah, like this. Okay, hold on. I don't know if this looks right though. Maybe it looks better the other way. I don't know. Let's try this and put the frying pan on there. See how that looks. I think this looks fine, actually. I think this is like more room efficient, maybe. I don't know. Okay, I'm just gonna start placing down the iconic imperial dining tables um just to see where everything is gonna be just so i can kind of lay out what room i'm gonna have here um i really like these ones i like the brown ones i think they look really nice i mean i like these tables in general i think they're just really cute tables um i didn't really bring a lot of seating just because i want to see how this looks um, okay, so I think I want to put the fish drying rack somewhere, maybe like, this is kind of in the way, but maybe like over here somewhere, like closer to the, closer to the ocean like this. I think that's cute. All right, let's craft some stools. I want to craft some stools for, for seating because we don't have any seating right now. Um, I don't know if the stools will look right around the imperial dining tables. I might end up putting them like closer to the stalls and make it look more like a, a little sushi bar, like sushi bar slash restaurant, if that makes sense. Okay, I'm going to customize the stools now. Now that I crafted them, I want to see if maybe there's a cute custom design I can use for them. I do want to keep this very like beachy and tropical and stuff. Do I like the pink wood? I don't know. Um, I was thinking maybe I would just use one of the ones that they give us because they're actually not bad. They're pretty cute, the designs that come with the game. They even have sushi ones, but I feel like it'd be too much if I did like, I don't know if I should make them sushi. I also can just use the ones that I've been using here. I think I'm gonna use my pineapple ones. I think they're cute. Okay, I think we're good now. I know I wasted a bunch of customization kits, but that's okay. I'm okay with it. As long as it looks cute, as long as the results are cute in the end. Yeah, I think that looks a lot better. Um, maybe like, I don't know how far apart I should put them on these tables though. And should I put them up here? Cause I feel like it would look weird. I don't even feel like this 
looks like a bar or anything, so I don't know. But I feel like this is where they would go if I placed them anywhere, so. Yeah, I think this looks okay. I think this looks okay. What else do I want to do to this area? Maybe I should put the stools next to these tables. I have some rattan stools. I think they look good, it's just that I don't have all of them because I don't think you can- you can't customize them because they're not a DIY. So I want to see if I can just go ahead and order. Yeah, okay, I'm just going to go ahead and order more in these variations so that we can use these in the build. And for now, I'm just going to put the two that I have right here and I'll place these whenever I time travel, um, whenever I'm- I've finished this area a little bit more. I wonder if the moonstone design that I have would look good underneath these tables. I'm just gonna get into my designer app because I'm so bad at placing these um, in just the normal app. It, it just doesn't work for me. I know a lot of people find it more efficient, but I just can't get them to go where I want them to go, so. I think that's where I wanted it to go earlier. I don't even know anymore. I think this is good. Like right here. All right, like right there. And then I'll do the same thing with the other one. But let me see what it looks like first because I want to make sure it looks good. Perfect. I actually really like that. I think that looks cute. I think that looks cute. I know it's not super sushi-like, but I think this will work. Is that too far down? I feel like that's too far down. I don't know. Yes, we are literally putting this right next to the ocean, which it's probably a little too close to the ocean, but I like it that way. I like it that way. So I think it'll look super good once it has like a bunch of these rattan, sorry, not rattan, rattan stools surrounding it. I didn't even know how to pronounce the, the name of that furniture for so long. So far, I feel like this is looking really cute. I think this is looking good. Um, let's see, let's see. Um, so I'm gonna go grab some more tables and I will be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and time traveled like a little bit. Um, so I could order another low table in the color that I wanted it in and just add more things that I needed to time travel for. So, okay, so I have a bunch of rattan stools now. Um, I'm trying to pronounce them correctly, um, and I'm just gonna kind of place them all around these tables. Just have we just want to have lots of lots of seating for whoever whoever shows up to this restaurant, which will be me. I will be here. Like I said, literally just had sushi last night, and this build is making me hungry for it again. Okay, I know they look kind of awkwardly far apart from the the tables, but that's just how Animal Crossing lays out their items, I guess. I, I don't know what to do about it, but I think this is cute. Maybe, maybe I should like put them up here instead. Oh my gosh, I can't push it any further. No, that's, that just looks weird. Oh, whatever, I'll just put it right here. It's fine. We'll deal with this later. I think this is okay. Maybe like right here, I guess as like part of the seating and stuff. And then we'll just go ahead and put the the noodles back on there as well as the as well as the bamboo lunchbox that took me a little bit to find, but it's okay. So, now I'm going to put zen cushions, but before I put them down, I want to customize them. So, let's see what am I going to Hmm, I don't have any cute designs to put for them. Like all of mine are kind of too colorful. I think I don't know sorry guys my recording system stopped on me but um, for both Zen cushions I ended up just going with this random tropical design that I had I feel like it's pretty neutral so that's what I ended up going with for this I think I just looked it up on the kiosk if you just look up tropical you can find it on there um, it's just I don't have those ones saved because I saved it a long time ago. I might be able to put one more stall here. I know I said no more stalls. I know it's getting excessive, but I feel like maybe this would look okay over here. You know what I mean? Like have have like um 
this so I can put the traditional tea set on there. So yeah, just put that over here. And then look, can I put the picnic basket? Whatever. I don't know if that looks right, but that's what I have for now. Um, and then I need to clear out this area so that I can put so I can put a little fishing spot over here because I made this back during Valentine's Day. So we're just gonna clear this area off here. So let's see, maybe I can put, um, start by putting like the little umbrella crate. I think I'm gonna put the fish crate over here. Um, just cause I think it'll look nice right here. Oh, there we go, okay. So as you can see, I'm putting the little fish crate here and I'm gonna turn it all the way around to make it look like an illusion like this. See, isn't that cute? I love these umbrella illusions. I know that everyone is using them now and this probably isn't like something new that you guys are seeing, but I don't know. I think it's really cute and I think it's gonna come in handy for a lot of builds. And I also have like a crab one. So maybe I can put the crab one over here somewhere. Um, it's from the same code as the fish crate one, so feel free to grab it if you guys want to. So, and then over here, I'm gonna put, let's see, I'm gonna put a fishing rod, place it like right here. And let's see, what else can I put here? Actually, I think I wanna put a different code on the dock. Like, I think I wanna use my boardwalk code on the dock and see if that looks good. Let's see, what does that look like? Yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and use this boardwalk thing. So I'm just gonna remove these for a second and go ahead and fill my whole um, dock with these because I think they look really cute. And I wanna keep it very consistent on this island. There we go. Okay, I think that looks a lot better. Um, I think it looks a lot more customized and cute and stuff. So I'm just gonna replace what I placed earlier here really quick and then I will add some other stuff. All right, there we go. And then place the fishing rod. There we go, okay. So obviously I wanna place some more things. So I'm gonna go grab some more things and then I will be back. Okay guys, I went ahead and grabbed what I had. I didn't have as much as I thought I did, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and place this pink lawn chair here, um, right next to this little area. Just try to place it right next to the fishing pole. And then let's see, I also have a bamboo stool. I wanted to place a coffee cup. Oh, there we go, okay, cool, cool. All right, so we got a little sitting area, a little fishing area where you can just sip your coffee and go fishing. I don't have the cooler. I know a lot of people like to use coolers in this build. Um, I mean, I have a water cooler, but I don't have like a cooler cooler. So I'm just gonna put that right here. We're just gonna pretend it has coffee instead of water in it because I have a problem. I have a problem. <laughs> and then I think I'm actually going to, I wanted to see if I could put the turkey day garden stand back on here and put the crawfish model on it. See how that looked. Right, there we go. I think that's cute a little bit. Maybe a little weird, but it's cute. It's cute. Yeah. Okay. So I think that looks nice. Um, like I said, I know there's a lot of people who have really, really great sushi restaurant builds, but um, I think this is, this is good enough. I think this is good with the room that I was working with. I wasn't working with a ton of room. And now I just think I'm going to go ahead and use the rest of the time in this video to decorate this strip with um, flowers and pathing. And so I'm going to grab some flowers and paths and stuff and I will be back with you guys. I just went ahead and grabbed um, a bunch of more different items, um, smaller items just to start doing this area, um, this little awkward strip here. So I think I'm going to go ahead and move some of the palm trees. Um, I know I don't have a lot of room left in my pockets, but 
Um, I want to clear out some space here. I think I'm just going to start planting some flowers here and there, spread them out. I grabbed a bunch of pink lilies and I also have some mums in my pockets, just kind of random flowers to plant here and there. I also wanted to possibly create a little lounge area, like not super big or anything, just maybe add some beach chairs, a towel or something. Um, let's see. I also thought something cute would be to lay down this little heart here. Just like put it here. By the way, if you guys are wondering, this comes with my flower sand path code, which I will have in the description if you guys are wondering how to get this. And like maybe adding a shell in the middle. Yeah, like that. That's so cute. I love that. See, I want to do something like that all over, just like all over my beaches. I know it's very small, but um, I feel like it goes a long way in terms of decor and stuff. So I'm just going to go ahead and continue doing this, decorating this little area just a little bit more until I'm finished. And I'll show you guys the finished results. I feel like this this helps fill the beaches a lot. So if you guys are looking for something to help fill these beaches, I feel like this is a good way. I know this is probably gonna clash, but I'm just gonna go ahead and plant. Oh wait, no, I actually have another pink lily. So I'll just go ahead and plant that right here. There we go, that's cute. I like this. I like this, I know it's super simple, like I said, but it's a way to kind of fill your beaches um, on those awkward strips where there's like enough room for a beach, but there isn't really enough room for a build, if it makes sense, if that makes sense, I don't know. Um, it took me so long to decide how I wanted this to look that I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up now. Um, I hope you guys did enjoy this. Overall, I think it I think it was a fun build to do. I think it's fun just kind of chilling out and decorating your beaches and not worrying too much. So again, thank you all so much for watching. If you made it to the end of this video, <laughs> thank you so much if you made it to the end of this video. I seriously appreciate it uh, so much. And I hope to have this island finished soon. Um, I know I keep saying that in my videos, but I will. I will have this island finished soon so I can finally release a dream address and do an island tour and yeah. So anyways, thank you all again so much for supporting me and all your sweet comments. They just really make my day. So um, yeah, anyways, if you just stumbled across my content or you just haven't yet, do consider liking and subscribing because that helps my channel a lot. Um, but anyways, I hope you all are having an amazing day and I hope to see you all in my next video.